called the fatherless generations. And I want you to know this isn't an accident, it's an evil plan of hell. If you missed last week, we had a Father's Day message where Pastor Alex Bryant gave us a lot of statistics and and information on fatherlessness and how it affects our world today. I'm not going to repeat those for the sake of time. I would encourage you to listen to that message. But see, the enemy knows that if he can ruin and decimate our concept of fathers by breaking and fracturing our relationships with our earthly dads, then he can create a stumbling block that many people may not overcome because they try to relate to a heavenly father, but that relationship is through a fractured lens from their earthly father. We see this all around our world today. As a matter of fact, I read an article that summed up fatherhood today in one of five categories. And of course, it's, it's, it, this is a bird's eye view of fatherhood. But I think most of us in this room could relate to one of these five categories. A lot of you, as I said, grew up with what is in the first category, the absent father. The father who simply wasn't in the equation or the abusive father. The father who was supposed to protect you and guide you and shape you, but instead he hurt you emotionally, verbally, or physically. Or maybe you grew up with a performance-based father. You got his approval if you did well, but if you didn't perform well enough, then you didn't. Or you grew up with a passive father. He's there, but he isn't. He's not stepping up to be the man of God that God created him to be. And others of us still grew up with an empowering father. Where you knew dad wasn't perfect, none of them are, but he loved you, he was present, and you knew it. And, and I thank God that I was blessed by this kind of dad. But some of you may be wondering why I'm bringing up types of fathers. And the truth is, as I was preparing for this message, I was preparing to go in a completely different route 